When we think about uh, risk populations, that population of people up to 200% of poverty um, who own their own home but really live on very uh, limited income. I think uh, median income for older adults ac across the country, it's about $20,000. We're not talking about a wealthy older population. We have to remember that. And so uh, I think a, a really uh, important sector of the population to look at is how do we um, be certain that we have the ability to provide health care and social supports as well. Um, I thought I heard, uh, this could be completely um, not accurate, but I, I did hear yesterday that I thought uh, that there was a health plan, a uh, Medicare Advantage plan in Iowa that has added a long-term service and support benefit to their Medicare Advantage plan. Now, we know some some plans, I think uh, Humana is one, is providing, for example, home-delivered meals after a hospital stay for Medicare Advantage. So we have to think, of, we have to think much more broadly than people uh, who are dually eligible for Medicare and Medicaid or long-term care waivers. We have to, you know, we must focus on that uh, kind of near poor, at risk, one step away from falling into the safety net. Um, they have uh, some more extraordinary challenges, perhaps, than people who have greater means. But that's not to say that frailty, chronic disease, illness is not a challenge for every older adult.